All right, let me start right here with the half guard. My idea of the half guard before I start passing your guard, it should keep your back flat to the ground. The reason I want you to keep your back flat to the ground is because I don't want you to face into me once we are, we, are, we are fighting. But in this situation, your frame should be good here. And I cannot put you back flat. <coughs> your next step, you should attack me. My next step is try to put you back flat to the ground. You can <coughs> walk to try to take my back. You can try to sweep me. Or you can just make me regress by bringing the bottom knee up and then close the guard. As soon as I pass frame one, okay, frame one, I go this and close guard. Once you step here on my body, or you close the guard, under the frame one. As soon as I pass this, this is the frame two, and then the arm is gonna be the frame three. I want you to go to the head, okay? So, I'm in here the frame two. I don't want you to, to make me step back to, to, to frame one. That's why I have to guard a side control. I need to put my toes on the ground so I can keep driving forward. But in this situation, if I just drive forward right here, you can let go of the guy. Mm -hmm. You're going to close the guy. So the solution we have is to grab the leg. I grab the leg, now I go to the corner. Okay? One thing happened right here, because you have a friend and I grab one on your shoulder, you can extend your body. Yes, and then right now look, I lose a grip so really up. Yes. Mm -hmm. If I grab the shoulder, I have to put my forehead on the ground. If I grab behind the neck, I don't need it. But it's not easy to, to make a grip behind the neck. Try to extend your body. No. You cannot. But the shoe has to go that deep. <coughs> so here. If I make a grip on the shoulder, my forehead goes to the ground. Try to extend the body. Mm. Yeah, man. Toes on the ground, I take my knee off the ground. Now I'm facing my hip out. Pass the guard, head up. As soon as I take my head up, my leg comes forward, knee to the hip. Right now is the key. He wants you, you want you to be on the side. I want you to push your back flat. If I fight the hip on your hip, you can keep like like right here's gonna be very hard for me to put you sideways. So right here you can go to the shoulder. Try to be sideways. Right here, be sideways. Your hip is very strong. I want you to pass your hip and go close to the head. So that's why I never push him in the hip, I go into the shoulder. No push please. I win. Right here, you beat me. Right here, I beat you. So let's talk about the detail on the leg right here. If my grip, if my grip is right here, palm of face on towards your knee, bring your leg up, please. You can fight. Okay? I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a grip right here. Any grip in Jiu-Jitsu, we never hold with four fingers. We always hold with these two fingers or these two fingers, okay? So here or here. Right here is going to be the same thing. I have much stronger grip if I twist. Try to bring me in. You cannot. Right here you can. So I'm doing this. Toes on the ground. My weight cannot be on the inside leg. Inside leg I'm trapped and you can sweep me. You can make me lose my balance, okay? Yes, do that, that direction. My weight is always on the outside leg, so, so my head is gonna is going to 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 help me, okay, to, to keep my weight on the outside leg. If my head is right here, this means my weight is on the inside leg. And you, you can recognize that too before you try to sweep. Try to switch my head. If my head is on the center, you can sweep. If my head is right here, you cannot. You can go to the arm lock, you can try. Right here, you can sweep. <coughs> Control, toes on the ground, elbow on the ground, drive forward. Try to push. Cross my knee, knee to the head, go to the shoulder.
Thank you.